Hey y'all, this is Jessica with Bless Your Heart. Today we're gonna do a Bougie X Tacket method. There's gonna be a lot of vinyl work to this one. We're gonna start off by putting our tacket all over the tumbler. We're gonna use a fluffy makeup brush and get that layer of tacket as smooth and even as possible. My glitter choice today is West Texas Glitter Midnight Moon. It's just a really pretty holographic blue. When your tacket layer is dry, you wanna go full coverage with whatever glitter you wanna use. And once you get all that done, then you're gonna to wanna to varnish it down the best way you can. I use my fingers, I haven't used any other method yet. This basically just lays that glitter all flat and lets that holographic just pop through. I'm gonna show you this line that it's that cut mark that my machine made. The vinyl I'm gonna use today is that clear leopard from Hobby Lobby and this rainbow leopard. It is transparent, but it's not as clear as the other. I'm just gonna line the rainbow leopard up with those cut marks that my machine made with the original template. And there you go. I'm gonna cover the whole thing in my transfer tape and try to fit it the best way I can onto my tumbler. I always try to replace that little piece that I cut off just to kind of help make sure that I get it straight and then I pull it off again and that gives me my anchor. The easiest way for me, again, is just to kind of put a little bit of pressure on it on my desk and let it roll out on its own. That's really the easiest way that I have found for myself to keep the bubbles and the creases from popping up on me all the time. You get to the end of putting it on, don't forget to bring up that extra piece of tra transfer tape that you used for your anchor. It really just saves trouble in the end. At this moment in the process, I have not put any epoxy on my cup. I have just sealed that tacket layer in really good with about three coats of my clear spray paint. So I'm being a little extra careful. It normally does not take this long to get this uh, transfer tape off, but you gotta do what you gotta do. After a layer of epoxy, let's start with all this vinyl striping. It's gonna be a lot. We're gonna use nail tape and vinyl that we've already pre-cut, so let's just get into it. I'm gonna use this black and I put it on both sides of all of that vinyl. what that looks like and now we're gonna move on to the next it's gonna be a glitter silver nail tape and we're just gonna go over all of that black And once that's done, let's move on to something else. This is gonna be a holographic silver nail tape, and we're just gonna go into those thicker spots. With that one done, we can move on. 
This next one is going to be a color shift nail tape. It's gonna look red, but when we put it on and for that blue, it's just gonna look green, but it just kind of brings out the green and the yellows from the rainbow vinyl that we used. Now we're gonna use a little bitty red shiny one. This is gonna go in just to that little, those little pieces, the top and the bottom. Basically, it's the inside of the X. And while we've got it out, why don't we go ahead and put it some other places? I told y'all there's gonna be a lot of vinyl into this, a lot of striping and just tedious work. But we're gonna put this right on the edge between the vinyl and the first nail striping that we used. And this is just, you know, added another layer. This one is a really skinny little holographic silver. We're just gonna go ahead and put it on the other side of that first striping we put down and just keep adding and adding and adding. This one's a little bit thicker, but it's still the same holographic silver. Let's outline that inside. And how can we not put green on there? Let's do this little bitty green holographic right on the inside of the inside. And after all that work, don't forget to seal it and then epoxy until smooth. And here you go. Thank y'all so much for hanging out with all of this vinyl work today. I hope to see you next time. Bye.